Hi, my name is Jacob. Today I will be doing a science experiment with light. Here's my hypothesis. My hypothesis is that when I show the light through the water, it's going to bend and then when it hits the plate, it's going to reflect. Okay, so we're going to do the experiment now and what we're going to need is materials. So. Here's your little screwdriver or nail, whichever one you prefer to use. You're going to need this so you can poke a hole in the bottle that we're going to show you later. Um, it's it's going to be ha it's going to have to be fairly small so that way it can fit into the bottle. And that's about it. And now you're going to need the bottle. Now you're going to need the bottle. So what this is for is the hole that the water is going to come out of. As you can see, I already have my hole pre-made. Um, have a have a parent's help with this, cause I don't want you I, I'm killing yourself or poking out your eye. And then the third thing you're gonna need is the water. This is the most important thing. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to do the experiment. Uh, you're gonna need a little tub for the bottle to have the water pour out of through the hole into here and then you need the light which is what the experiment is on as you can see it works just fine it glows through the plastic pretty well so so we're back and as you can see our bottle still has the screwdriver in it what you want to do is place the bottle in here and then grab your jug or whatever you have full of water, pick it up, okay. and then, we're not going to need the water anymore, then grab your laser. And you want to kind of kneel down and find the spot where it is. As you can see, I found it. And now what I'm going to do is pull this out and then grab the laser. Uh, here, we'll just go to... And as you can see... If I get it onto the light, this bottom part kind of shines red. But as you as you're seeing, the light is going like a nice step again. Um, the light goes through the water. If I touch it. It still glows against my finger. This is what it, it, this is because the light is bending or going through an object, and because of my finger is getting in the way, it's got to stop bending, forcing it to go on, bend up onto my finger. Uh, here, I'll give you a little quick view. You can see that my finger is turning red. So I thought this was a neat little experiment, and I thought it'd be cool to show you. So yeah. We're done. And today I have scientist clothes. Oh, a polo shirt. That's about it. Oh, no, no, perfect. As you can see, as it gets shorter, a little harder to run out, but it also glows a little more in the light. Thank you for watching. As you saw, the light went through out the other side. If I can find your little hole again. Uh, where is that nasty little hole? Right here. This is where the water came out. And if we show, and as you saw, we show the light through it. It came out and came down here. And then when it hit the water, it sent a faint little glow around here. Like, maybe like right here to here. I'm gonna need a towel after this.
maybe a shower, I don't know. Um, and then, uh, as you can see, our bottle is a little bit more empty than it was before. That's pretty obvious. Uh, what happened was, when it, when it got around this far, it started to fade away. And then you couldn't see the color anymore. But because it's light, it faded away so fast that it looked like it instantly stopped. And that's the... So, as far as I know, this thing worked perfectly. So thanks for watching, guys. And, by the way, hi, babe. Alright, see you later.